Hi, in this episode of Redneck 101, we're talking about signs of strong fisheries. It can be hard to discern from a distance whether a fishery is worth the time and effort of a trip. One might even see positive reports and pictures and think about moving to a location for retirement or for a new job due to the perception that it's a strong fishery. My redneck journeys have brought me to many different states and many different fishing opportunities. I've learned that most fishermen tend to be optimistic and few will tell you straight out things like the fishing around here just isn't very good or 10% of the local anglers catch 90% of the fish or anglers moving here face a steep learning curve. It's tough to judge a given fishery from the social media reports since even in tough fisheries some percentage of the locals are having success and posting pictures and many guide businesses post the most appealing pics as a way of generating business. Another look in the good, good book. Don't let it pass you by. Let the Holy Spirit talk. Walk through the written word of Jesus. Then you, you, you love Jesus. La, 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 la. My decades of experience have taught me that the most promising signs of a strong local fishery are 1. The willingness of local anglers to provide precise information and advice to newcomers. Now, this might not include precise information for every given species, since some specific species can be tough at given times of the year. But if there is no low-hanging fruit in the fishery that the local anglers are willing to share information on, it's a bad sign. It's a bad sign if the locals see the local fishery as a resource so limited that they see themselves as needing to withhold information from newbies to compete effectively for that limited resource. I knew it was a good sign when I stopped by the fish cleaning station on Grand Isle to talk to some locals. Seeing I was fishing with children and interested in surf fishing, an angler there immediately told me where the best surf sp fishing spot in the area was for bull redfish. His information proved correct and very valuable. Likewise, I took it as a good sign when I stopped to ask for advice on where in a lake to troll for trout from the sales guy at a local marina. He took my contour map in his hand and he circled an area. He proved correct and that lake was one of the most productive freshwater fisheries with a short learning curve. It provided many days of delight and many meals for my family. A second important sign of a productive local fishery are liberal limits on the main target species especially when combined with an absence of peer pressure to catch and release legal fish. An area or lake with much lower limits or with a much more restrictive slot limit or length limits probably does not have as many available fish to catch as an area with less restrictive limits. Most of the time, fishery regulations are set through careful and scientific stock assessments. The stock assessment science and the regulatory process are not perfect, but they do tend to be more reliable than the impression one gets from pictures posted on social media. In contrast, if posts showing people taking home legal limits of fish are regularly criticized by the locals, it's a sign of jealousy and infighting that more commonly result from weak fisheries rather than strong ones. The third important sign of a strong local fishery is success by anglers of more modest means from smaller boats and without needing to spend a hundred dollars or more on gas or, needed th or needing thousands of dollars in electronics to reliably find the fish. The fourth important sign is a successful local commercial fishery that the local sport anglers are rooting for rather than competing with. If there's always political and regulatory jealousy about how to divide the limited pie, 
between commercial and sporting interests odds are good that local fishery just isn't as good as others where there's enough fish to keep the local commercial anglers profitable without arousing strong jealousies from the sport anglers no single indicator is perfect in all situations and I'm sure you can think of some exceptions and so can I but these are indicators I keep in mind when deciding where to spend my limited time and my limited money on my fishing adventure. Good, good, good word is a message from my God gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom. The good life. Written the word in the good, good word is a message from our God gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom. The good life. Jesus, la 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 la